When it was announced last year, it was called a huge gain for Nova Scotia, especially Halifax. But now Premier Daryl Dexter is raising questions about the timeline of the largest shipbuilding venture in Canada since World War II. Thousands of workers were promised jobs, but the start of construction has now been pushed back at least three years. And as Ross Lord reports, those workers may be gone before the first ship is built. Irving a year ago, there was jubilation in Halifax. Now there are growing questions about the $25 billion contract awarded to Irving Shipbuilding for 21 new Canadian combat ships, leading Nova Scotia Premier Daryl Dexter to Ottawa seeking assurances from the Prime Minister. We'd just like to make sure that there are timelines that are being, uh, that are being met. But one biggie is already well behind schedule. With the start of construction pushed back by three years to 2015, Dexter wants to make sure he's included in the planning loop. We didn't just partner in the bid and then you know go home. We we want to we want to continue to be an active part uh, of uh, the whole process. The contract is supposed to provide 30 years of steady work for the shipbuilders. The big risk with these delays is that they won't be here when the time finally comes for them to start. The longer the delay, the the more likely we're going to have a gap in the middle and people are going to fall off. Uh, and maybe start looking for work uh, somewhere else. And there's another question. Who will steer the shipyard through the contract? Its president, Steve Durrell, has mysteriously resigned, catching a lot of people off guard, including the Premier. I don't know why the change has taken place. Uh, I know that Steve has been a very good uh, uh, person to work with. We worked with him uh, on the whole contract. In a brief statement, the company says Durrell is no longer with Irving Shipbuilding, that it appreciates his 27 years of service, and that the company looks forward to cutting steel on the next generation of Canadian ships. But before the sparks fly, there's lots of prep work to be done, and some of that is also slipping. For example, designing the first batch of ships. Irving Shipbuilding was hoping that will be completed by now, but the government says final designs won't be finished until sometime next year. The Public Works Department says it's working closely with the shipyard and that all work is progressing well. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.